For months, photographers and filmmakers alike have been buzzing about what Sony has in store for its Alpha lineup. And now the conversation is heating up again with fresh reports about the long-awaited Sony A7 V. According to a trusted source in the camera rumor circuit, Sony is preparing to unveil this highly anticipated mirrorless camera in mid-October 2025, possibly during the B-Alpha event in Barcelona, Spain. That would line up perfectly with the company's typical fall release cycle. And if true, it places the launch almost exactly four years after the Sony a7 IV debuted back in October 2021. But here's the million-dollar question. Is the Sony a7 V going to be a groundbreaking step forward for hybrid shooters, or will it simply recycle parts and technology we've already seen in other models? Let's dive deep into the leaks, speculation, competitive context, and expected features to figure out what this next alpha camera could mean for photographers and videographers heading into 2026. A. Brief history. From Sony A7 to A7. For before we dive into the leaks, it's worth taking a moment to reflect on the journey that brought us here. Sony's A7 series has become one of the most influential lines in modern digital photography. A7, 2013. The world's first affordable full-frame mirrorless camera that shook up the DSLR-dominated industry. 7 2014. Added in-body image stabilization. A game-changer at the time. 7 3 2018. Widely regarded as one of the best all-rounders ever made, with incredible low-light performance, 4K video, and still unmatched value. A7 IV brought 33MP stills, oversampled 4K 30P, and a major step up in autofocus performance. The Sony A7 IV became one of the best-selling full-frame mirrorless cameras in the world, Loved by hybrid shooters who wanted a strong balance between high-resolution stills and professional-level video features without paying flagship prices. This is exactly why the rumored Sony a7 V is so highly anticipated. It's not just another release. It's the natural evolution of Sony's most important camera for enthusiasts and professionals alike. The expected announcement, October 16, 2025, according to sources, Sony is likely to reveal the A7 V on October 16th, a Thursday, during the B-Alpha event. While Sony hasn't officially teased the camera yet, the timing makes sense. October has historically been prime season for camera announcements, especially in the weeks leading up to the holiday shopping frenzy. Companies like Nikon, Canon, and Sony all jockey for attention before Black Friday and Christmas sales, and Sony has used October events to reveal many of its biggest cameras. Canon EOS R5 II is rumored for November, but Canon's choice to announce on a Sunday raised eyebrows in the industry. Sony, on the other hand, is known for strategic launches with global visibility, so an October 16th launch feels credible. Even though Sony has not yet released teaser posters, official event invites, or YouTube livestream placeholders, many industry watchers believe an announcement is imminent. Design, familiar but refined, Leaked prototype images of the Sony a7 V show a camera body that looks remarkably similar to the Sony a7 IV. The button placement, grip design, and overall ergonomics appear nearly identical, suggesting Sony is not radically redesigning its most popular alpha camera. This shouldn't be a surprise. Look at how Canon handled the EOS R5 Mark II. The body was almost identical to the original, but the real upgrades were inside. Sensor technology, video processing, and autofocus. We should expect the same from Sony, even if the shell looks familiar. The real innovations will likely be under the hood. Possible specs and features of the Sony A7, 5 here's where things get interesting. While Sony has been tight-lipped, several leaks and logical expectations help paint a picture of what the A7 V might offer. Sensor and resolution rumors suggest the A7 V will retain a 33mm full-frame sensor, similar to the A7 IV. While some might be disappointed, it's important to remember that megapixels aren't everything. Sony may instead focus on dynamic range improvements, better low-light sensitivity, and faster readout speeds. There's also speculation that Sony could introduce stacked sensor technology, perhaps not at the level of the A1, but enough to improve rolling shutter performance and burst shooting speed. Video upgrades the hybrid shooter community is watching this closely. Expected upgrades include 4K 60fps without crop, oversampled from 7K or higher, 10-bit 4.2.2 recording internally. Potential support for 8K video at least in short bursts, though this is less certain. Professional video tools, waveform monitors, false color exposure tools, LUT support, 
and enhanced escinatone color science. Sony will likely lean heavily into AI video autofocus tracking, which has already proven effective in sports and wildlife shooting. Autofocus powered by AI the Sony, A7 IV, already featured great autofocus, but the A7 V could push things much further with Sony's dedicated AI processing unit. Similar to what we've seen in the A7R V, this means better subject recognition improved tracking in complex scenarios, smarter real-time IAF for video with less hunting. Dynamic range and color. Science leaked whispers suggest Sony may aim for 15 plus stops of dynamic range, along with improved low light performance and noise reduction. Color rendition has been a point of debate between Sony and Canon shooters, and the A7 V could deliver refined skin tones, cinematic color science, and smoother highlight roll off, closing the gap with Canon's widely praised color pipeline. Connectivity and usability expect modern workflow features such as dual CF Express Type A plus SD card slots, faster USB C transfer speeds, improved wireless transfer for professionals working on the go. Price range of Sony follows historical pricing. The A75 will likely launch at around $2,499 to $799 USD, making it slightly more expensive than the A74, but still cheaper than flagship models like the A1 or A9 series. Competitor Context How Sony A75 Stacks Up The A75 won't exist in a vacuum. It's launching into a highly competitive market. Canon EOS R5 II Likely offering 8K RAW, advanced video tools, and second-gen autofocus. Nikon Z6 III and Z7 III. Nikon's mid-range full-frame updates are also expected in 2025, emphasizing better hybrid shooting. Panasonic S5 II X, hugely popular with filmmakers thanks to its built-in cooling and ProRes recording. Sony needs to push beyond incremental upgrades to maintain dominance. If the A7 V delivers only mild updates, Canon and Panasonic could steal attention from hybrid shooters. Looking for serious video capabilities. Why October announcements? Matter in the camera industry timing isn't just coincidence, Sony knows that October is the golden window for product announcements. Early. September tends to bring small lens refreshes or minor body updates October is when big cameras drop, flagships, major hybrid shooters, and lenses that define product cycles. November is risky due to Thanksgiving and Black Friday overshadowing announcements. That's why the A7 V launch in mid-October feels almost inevitable. It allows Sony to maximize buzz, secure pre-orders before the holiday season, and keep its camera lineup competitive. Should you wait for the Sony A7 V? This is the big decision for many photographers and filmmakers. If you're currently shooting on an A7 III or older, the A7 V will likely be a massive upgrade in autofocus, video tools, and image processing. But if you already own the A7 IV, the jump might feel smaller unless Sony surprises us with big video specs. One thing's for sure. If you're looking for a future-proof hybrid camera that balances photo and video needs, the A7 V is shaping up to be a worthy candidate. Final thoughts, the Sony A7 V is arguably the most anticipated full-frame camera of 2025, and for good reason. It follows in the footsteps of one of Sony's most successful models, the A7 IV, and it could redefine what hybrid shooters expect in a $2,500 mirrorless camera. While the leaked design doesn't show radical changes, the real story lies in the sensor improvements, AI autofocus upgrades, and professional video features that could put it ahead of competitors. If the rumored October 16th announcement date is accurate, we won't have long to wait. Expect teasers, leaks, and more details to drop soon. And once the official reveal happens, pre-orders will likely go live immediately at major retailers like B&H, Adorama, and Wex. For now, the best advice is patience. Sony knows the world is watching, and the A7 V will either prove its dominance in the hybrid market or risk being overshadowed by Canon and Panasonic's aggressive pushes into video-first cameras.